I've been leveling up my charisma anyway, so... Protect okay. and serve. Maxwell? Have a look at the crime scene for clues. When you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents. But their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. I'm going to accuse them all. No, I'm not. Brain. Looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Blood. Hmm. Is this blood? Let's follow the blood trail. Nice. I love how the blue is apparently Baseball an upgrade. Bat? Huh. What's this doing here? Maxwell. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Yes. Um, uh, about the victim. Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything else? Uh, residents are robots? Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. Was there anything else? I found the murder weapon. I found the murder weapon. Oh no. That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? Uh, where'd stop? I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. Oh, helpful. Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need to confront the killer. Was there anything else? Nope, that's Never it. Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Right. Um. Right. Trying to remember what way I came in. Was it this way? Exit zone. I'm gonna leave my power armor out here for now. So in that way I'm not using it all up. My poor legs are completely destroyed. Oh right, can't take anything from here. It counts as stealing! I really don't want to piss the robots off. Okay. You're a concierge. Ah, that's Pearl. Protect and serve. That's a protectron. Let's go in here. He deserved better than that. You think I'm stupid? I saw the way he looked at you. You're gonna tell me that's nothing? It wasn't like mm -hmm. that. We were friends. He helped me out of a tight spot or two is all. I... On our tail. What are we going to do? Come away with me. Let's leave this dark hole of a city behind. We can do. Come away with me. Let's leave this dark hole of a city behind. We can be in Buenos Aires by tomorrow. Oh, I want to believe you. I do. But they'll never let us go. Then we'll make our stand here. I... I've got a gun for each of us. No, 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 no. The line oh, is... How romantic. We'll make our stand here. Two lovers together with a bullet for each of them. Nick, don't oh, interrupt God. them. Why can't mm. I ever get that line? Forget it. I can't do this right now. Ugh, fine. I'm going to the beach. Be You're underground. You. Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? I found your bat. I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Care to explain how it got there? Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. 
It's probably Santiago. You saw him skulking around the crime scene. Um, conversation with Gilda. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Uh, thoughts on the case? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously something. I love the way that this he has been um, voice acted. Uh, maybe later. Maybe later. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. I love the voice acting. Just on this bit alone. Because it's basically the same way that, you know, I'm discussing it. This is a very nice room. Kind of. For a robot. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. We're going to go question the other robots. Classroom. Ew. Looks like it's just a storage room. Uh, atrium. Oh. There are stairs. Nick, move! Can't talk to the concierge. Get out of the way. Uh, right. Jump over the table. I may have to do a whole series on these. Hold up, I heard him. Where is he? Hello. Are you a devotee of the arts? Does that cruel muse call you to her entrapping bosom? Uh, let's see if I can get away with this. Art is life. Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? Um, it's about composition. It's about composition. The balance of colors and emotions and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last yeah. piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Number 1378. Her That's a lot of... Artwork for one person. The, portrait. the reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself this way. One thousand three hundred and seventy three pieces of art for one person. Daddy, what does this one say to you? It goes boom. Um It's the war. Let's see if we can get away with this one. It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. The world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. <laughs> oh my god. The world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. We must ascend. Oh, we're going up the stairs. Kitty. Come on, fuck this one. And please be honest. For art without honesty is just politics. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. You're talking out your ass and wasting my time. Got it in one. Truth be told, this is my best selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. Of course. I spent more money than any of my serious works. And I take the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? Huh? 
Right. Let's talk to you about the. No. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? I am one of the premier artists in the world. I Never heard of you, sir. Oil paint, but I have been known to do sculpture or performance art as well. Um, returning to the crime scene. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. Uh, paintings of Gilda. Sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, detective. Do you not see this what from within her? I have never the met what? another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. I must admit I was quite smitten with her for a time. Yeah? That that is very evident by the amount of art you did You're of her. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty, not that rogue actor. Mm, thoughts on the case? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She wow. has had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. Good lord, he really does not like her. That's uh what were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gilda probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. Maybe later. Maybe later. Good. I hope my paintings are able to open your mind to new possibilities. Of course. Of course. Right. Hang on, I need to sort out... Uh... Oops. Right, take that off for now. Put that one on. That way it can show me where everyone is. Excuse me, I don't knock. Hello, Mr. Whiskers. Who's a pretty kitty? Uh, Juliana, yeah, Mr. Whiskers died last month. This is Cluffy, remember? Oh. There is no cat here. Of course. Silly me. Just let me have a look at the neural interface matrix and I'm sure I can clear that. Uh... No. No, it's not that. Uh, I've just caught another cold. Probably something the Guardian when they sent Pearl out. Oh, God. Not this again. Last month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even Robots know about Robots don't it? get measles. Besides, I think it may be malaria. First of all, oh, good I Lord. am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. Secondly, I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not physically possible. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now why don't you just wander off and play in your lab? Wow. Mr. Scruffy and I are going to rewrite the will, so he will get... Tell me we don't need to find something in here, because that may take oh, a while. Oh, God, Juliana. How oh, would ever... <laughs> no, you need... Did you need something? Yes. Um, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh... Well, I'm a Just turn off that arguing, because good lord. My wife, Juliana, already. I'm not sure what else to say, really. Oh, was there something else, you detective? Uh, argument with Ezra. I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she Sounds like she's been critical of everything. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, that doesn't sound safe. Uh, 
Um, about your research. Tell me about your research. Well, I was one of the leads on the team that created the first robo-brains, the precursors uh, to our model. Uh, most people don't find it all that interesting, and I'd rather not bore you. Oh, was there something else, you detective? Uh, thoughts on the case? Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Oh, well, that's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some clues at the crime scene. Oh, was there something else, you detective? More about your research. I'd like to hear more about your research. Oh, wonderful. Uh, no one else here really wants to talk about it. See Actually, if there's anything that can give us any clues. more or less the same as the previous versions I worked on, I've, but without the neural inhibitor and the reconditioning. The voice modulator uh, seems to have some minor issues interfacing with the neural matrix, uh, which can add some moodiness. Uh, but that's easily hmm. solved with regular tune-ups. Oh, was there something else, you detective? Uh, voice modulator. Robobrains have a voice modulator? Tell me about that. Uh, that's what allows us to recreate our original voices. Uh, they can mimic any normal human voice, actually. I've speculated for some time that the issues we had with our uh, uh, recruited subjects uh, is due to the brain attempting to preserve a sense of self. Maintaining our original voices helps reinforce the neural network, uh, sort of like uh, playing music for an Alzheimer patient. Oh, was there hmm. something else, you detective? Uh, maybe later. Maybe later. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. Good idea. I'm gonna go smack your wife because, my god, she's annoying. Hello, Oi! Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Yes. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. I'm Juliana Riggs, heiress to the Riggs fortune and wife of Bert Riggs. I'm not sure what else you expected, Detective. Well, I don't know who you are. Now tell me about your fight with Ezra. I heard you had a big fight with Ezra a few days ago. Care to explain? Oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repairs on the hotel. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I really should have listened to him more. What's with the junk? What's with all the junk in here? These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Love, your mansion isn't there. Now tell me your thoughts on the case. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. Their type is always the cause of violence. Maybe later. Maybe later. Good luck catching the murderer, detective. Hmm. A shotgun shell in here. Bathroom. Other bedroom. They really bring everything they own to a vault? Because, seriously? Uh, that's... thingamajig. Right, I need to go upstairs, so now I need to find the stairs. Okay, well I already said I wasn't going to help them, so that's not really my problem. No, I'm just going around in circles. Where are the friggin' stairs? I've seen them. Ah, oh, here they are. Wait, 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 hang on. I Maybe seen... Maxwell has the key. Oh, I need to speak to Maxwell. Hello again, Detective. Was there anything else? Yes. The door to the Overseer's office is locked. Ow. Oh, yes. Mr. Parker locked it a while back. After finding out that one of the other residents had been inside, said it wasn't safe. Yeah, if there's the something key in there. If on him, it's probably in Mr. Parker's room. Was there anything else? Mm, 
Never mind. Never mind. I'll be here should you need me. Right, I can't actually invest I can't actually check his body. So guessing this is his room. Ah, key. Perfect. Ah, oh, it's got a little nuke cola bottle on it and everything.